everybody, this is Meyer, and what I want to do in this video is show you five hidden vital tips that you may or may not have known. So let's get started. Tip number one, Vital actually has a hidden LFO fade time, which is really useful if you want to do things like vibrato. So let's say I want the note to hit, and rather than just start by the pitch modulating, I want it to eventually come in and modulate after a little bit of time. Best way to do that is click under the smooth and move to fade in, and now this will control the fade in time. So with no fade in time, you can see here on the left, it's just gonna move really quickly, but adding in a fade in time, that LFO is going to ease in over the time specified. Pretty cool. Tip number two, by default, Vital's cutoff knob is actually in semitones and not hertz or frequency. The way to change this is go under the advanced tab and change its display to Hertz. Now, when you go back here and you let it update, you can see the cutoff is actually now in Hertz. And you can even right click and enter in a value. Say I want the cutoff at 18 kilohertz. Boom, there it is. Tip number three, Vital actually has a hidden rotate knob. Under the stereo spread knob, which controls the actual stereo spread of your master output, there's this rotate function, which does some sort of weird pan or phase rotation. You can even modulate this, which is pretty cool with an LFO. Tip number four, you can save your own custom LFOs, but you can't do it by going into this menu. Instead, what you have to do is right click on the LFO that you've made itself and click save to LFOs. Saved LFOs will show up here under your user folder, such as the one I made here. Last but not least, tip number five. You can actually draw in your own custom filters in Vital. The way to do this is go under Wavetable Effect 1 on any of these oscillators and choose Spectral Filter. Now what you can do is actually pencil in what you want the filter to do. Let's say I want a low pass filter. Well, that's easy to do. I can just basically draw it in or I want to do something really bizarre. Well, we can do that too. This filter knob actually controls the cutoff. So this is different than just adjusting the amplitudes in the wavetable oscillator. You can actually sweep through the wavetable itself. So if I want to map, let's say a pluck, I can do this very easily by mapping it to this knob. What you've done is effectively turned Vital from a three filter synth into a six filter synth by doing this. And as a bonus, did you know you can click up here in the top right and change from an oscilloscope view to a spectrum analyzer view. Anyway, hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching, and if you want to see more tips like this, don't forget to hit that, that like button and subscribe to my channel. See ya.